everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a denim video. This denim video is going to be focusing on like the relaxed leg, kind of wide leg, vintage -y style that you've probably seen like all over Pinterest, Instagram, my Instagram. I've been living in them for the last year. So I'm gonna talk about my favorite ones that I have collected so far. I would love to know like if you guys have your favorites that I'm not gonna talk about because I wanna try new ones. So leave them down below and I'll look into getting them. I want to talk about this style because I don't think they're going anywhere. I really think that if you have been sitting on the fence about these, it's time to try them out. A lot of denim brands do have great return policy. So I think that just trying them on in the comfort of your own home with your closet items, you will probably be convinced because I just think that they're a great denim style to invest in. And also it's like a style that I can wear as I get older. I might not love skinny jeans as I get older, but these ones I think will be there forever. So that's another thing, investing in wardrobe pieces that will last you forever, if not a good long time. So let's get started. I'm gonna talk about these guys first. All right, so the jeans that I'm wearing right now, they're called the Topshop Dad Jean. They are a great price point. They are super comfortable. These ones are 100% cotton. I am wearing them in a size 26 with an inseam 30. So Topshop has different inseam lengths, which is awesome for like people who are shorter and people who are taller. So I wear the 30 inch inseam. I'm 5'5", five five, fits me perfectly. I never have to touch the hem when I order from Topshop Stenum. It is a high rise. They are marketed depending on the site you see them on as like a mid rise. But I think that they are a high rise because my belly button is underneath the top of the hem. So I would say they're probably like an 11 and a half to 12 inch high rise. You can see that the leg just goes straight down. There's not really like a tapering there. When I first got them, they were a lot tighter. They have stretched out and the coloring has faded a little bit just to show like the wear. I absolutely love the color of these. I love that they're 100% cotton and I think that they aged really well and will continue to age really well. So coming up a bit closer, you can see the detail of the like mid blue wash better. I, it's gonna get lighter as I wear them more. It can get a little bit like bleached in the sun if I'm wearing them out in the sun. So these do have a button fly, which I think is very perfect for a 100% cotton denim pant. And because of like the style of it, it is going to be like looser as it ages. And if it was a zipper, it would start to probably, like the zipper would fold weird versus the buttons keep it together without being too warped. I think these Topshop dad jeans are a great entry point if you're unsure about the trend and don't want to spend too much money on your jeans yet. So next up we have these Citizens of Humanity Anina trousers. These ones are the latest ones in the collection. I haven't had a second to go actually get them hemmed, so please pardon me when I am maybe tripping over the bottoms. So these Anina trousers are high rise. They are 11 and 3 quarter inch high rise. So now that I'm trying this on and knowing the exact measurement, I think the top shop ones are the same. So the material of these pants are also 100% cotton, but they are 100% organic cotton. So what I found when it comes to having organic cotton jeans, they tend to be a lot softer than like regular cotton. These ones are like your classic, like premium vintage feeling citizens of humanity. So even though they're hundred percent cotton, you don't feel like you need to spend like a month breaking them in. As you can see, these ones are quite a bit wider than the top shop ones. These ones are like your true wide leg trouser jean. Of course, they're going to look a little bit different once I get them hemmed. I just haven't decided if I want to hem them for flats or just like for a like heeled boot or heels. So I'm just having a little bit of a struggle with that. So I haven't committed to actually hemming them yet. I really love the style of these ones though, because when I said like this style of jean can really be dressed up, this style in particular, they really do look like a trouser. And because it's a darker blue denim paired with a blazer or like a really nice blouse and heels can really be worn to the office, I think. I mean, as long as you have a cool office, and not one of those like intense, like you can't wear jeans to an office. So this is the color up close. They kind of remind me of my Citizens of Humanity Gia Rollins color. Like they're this deeper 
medium blue that has like a green undertone. It definitely has some fading throughout, which will continue to fade a little bit with wear. It's 100% cotton, so it's gonna fade really beautifully. It does have a button fly, so I think all of the ones behind me have button flies, so yay. Plain pockets, the premium vintage logo for citizens of humanity. And there's not really any distressing other than just like along the pockets here and just like to give that like lived in look. In these jeans, I'm wearing a size 25 because I saw that they were made of 100% organic cotton and that they're premium vintage, I decided to go true to size. With Citizens of Humanity, I rarely go up to a 26 because their denim, because it's so soft, it does stretch quite a bit. I usually go true to size or a size down. So for these, I'd say true to size or one size down. Definitely don't go up because I can foresee them like stretching just a bit. And with this kind of like tailoring, like of like a trouser shape, you don't want them to be too slouchy. All right, next up are my Jessie Cam, I think they're called handy pants or worker jeans. <laughs> Either way, they are super, super high rise. I would say these are like well above 12 inch, maybe 12.5 inch high rise. And they are a wide leg crop. So definitely not as wide leg as the Anina trousers, but a little bit wider than the Topshop dad jeans. These ones also are shorter. So I'd say probably like a 29, 29 and a half inch inseam. These ones are made of Japanese cotton. Japanese cotton's even more like soft than regular organic cotton. So Jessie Kim, you might not have heard of because I just discovered them through Instagram, I think over the last year. Got these ones from Shop One of a Few, which is based in Vancouver, but you can order them right from the Jessie Cam site as well. I really like these because there's something really special about them. The shape and the cut is really flattering. Last time I talked about these jeans, someone said they looked like Carhartt, like handy pants. And I'm like, sure, they might like have an inspiration from them having like this little hook here and like the paneling in the front, but in no way do they fit like a Carhartt pant. These ones are definitely so much more flattering. If you want Carhartt pants, go ahead. There's nothing wrong with them. I love Carhartt. My husband is obsessed. But to compare that to these like Jesse Cam jeans that are so like thoughtfully made, I think does it a disservice. I just have to bring that up in case someone else is thinking that they're definitely not just your regular handy pant. So the blue in these jeans are like the most blue out of the bunch, more like purpley blue, I guess you could say. The others have like a green undertone to it. You can probably tell, I mean, just from this video. This one has a button fly as well. I think I might have an extra one, two, three, four, five, no, still five buttons, even though it's like so high rise. So why I love these pants so much is because I think it's so flattering around this area. She really did a great job in like having it cut perfectly. Plain pockets in the back. And then you got like the hook and a pocket detailing on the side. So the stitching is like kind of like that orangey stitching. I really like the vibe of these. I think they almost look a little bit 70s. So for Jessie Cam, her sizing is a little bit different. Instead of like a 25, 26, I'm like a two or a four. So these ones I'm wearing a size four. She does have like pretty like intricate measuring for like your waist and hip to correspond to your sizing. And I think they're pretty accurate. Like if you're in between two sizes, go up. Just because even though it's Japanese denim and it's super soft, it is like thicker and a little bit like more like a substantial denim versus the Citizens of Humanity ones are like, I would call like your PJ organic cotton jeans and these ones would be your like real jean material. Next up are the Able E crisscross jeans. Probably pretty popular if you have Pinterest or Instagram. This like crisscross action here was super popular last year or even the beginning of this year. And then a bunch of other brands started making similar jeans. It's a really cool detail, but the thing I love most about these jeans is the fit. So I am wearing a size 24, which is a size down from what I normally do for a gold E. Why I did that was just because I felt that my 90s style jeans were getting looser. I love them loose, but I wanted like a pair of my like wider leg jeans to be a little bit more fitted. Keep in mind though, when these came, they were really tight. They were like quite hard to button up because these are 100% cotton as well. You can see now that they've loosened up a little bit, they're much more comfortable to wear and they look a little bit more fitted on me versus before 
before they might have been like bunching a little bit here. These ones do have a little bit of a wider leg opening than the 90 style. So these ones are 17 inch, those ones are 16 inch. Otherwise, I'd say that the fit is quite similar. These ones I love because they're not distressed. They're very easy to dress up and dress down. For these ones, probably order true to size if you like want them to fit comfortably all the time. Size down if you want them to be like fitted forever because they're gonna like stretch out to fit you. So this is what the crisscross looks like up close. It has some buttons in the like crisscrossed fly and then one button like underneath here to keep this guy like from going up and down. Pockets all around, plain pockets. And this is kind of like a vintage washed black. It's not like a true black. It's almost like a gray black. And I think that they're super flattering too, because even though they are like a wider leg, they don't make like your legs look wider than they normally are, which sometimes I feel like with relaxed leg or wide leg jeans, that can happen. All right, last but not least are the Able E 90 style jeans. I'm wearing a size 25, so these are my true size in A bold E, and I don't think I'd size down for these. I've seen people size down in them and they look completely different. I just really like how these like are a little bit looser, they hang a little lower, and they're just a little bit like cool looking, I'd say. They look beautiful when they're a little bit more fitted too. It just depends on the style. So ordering these true to size will give you like this vibe. And when I was saying that these ones have a little bit of a small leg opening, you can kind of see at the bottom how they come down just a little bit. They kind of almost taper in versus the ones I just showed you, the crisscross ones come straight down. These ones are 100% cotton, which is why the rips look so disheveled and so great. That's just how I like my rips to look. When it comes to denim that isn't 100% cotton and it has rips and distressing in it, you tend to see the like fabric to be a little bit more like squirrely, less more so like raw like this. So these jeans are high rise. They have a button fly. If you like want, you could pull them down a little bit so they're more like mid rise because I got them in like my true to size and they stretched out, I had the option to do that. If you want them even lower for them really to look like super 90s, you can get them in a size up. As you can see, there's distressing all over. The 90s style jean comes in so many different like colors and shades and like distressing patterns that you really have your option. I really like these ones because I tend to gravitate towards like a medium blue shade because I like how it eventually fades when they're 100% cotton. They kind of like overtook my Levi's 501s as my favorite jean. Still have my Levi's 501s, I just haven't been wearing them as often. Maybe I'll bring them back again in the winter, but for now I'm living in this style of jean. And that's a wrap. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Of course, let me know if you have any questions. I will be linking them all down below as well if there are any like jean brand jean styles that you want me to try for next time leave them down in the comment section like the video subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and i will see you so soon